Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using some glow-in-the-dark powder in these ribbons. Now these ribbons are really really popular and they're very good for really recognising different things like breast cancer or LGBTQ and all those sorts of things. So I'm going to try and make quite a rainbowy coloured one in here using glow-in-the-dark powder. I have no idea how it's going to come out and I'm going to paint the glow-in-the-dark powder onto the mould and we'll see how it works out. So I've got quite a few colours here, but probably not the colours that I need. Colours of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. These are the colours I'm going to be using. I've got red, orange, gold, green, blue and violet. So I'm going to just paint these colours onto these moulds in strips going across as if it was a rainbow. Now normally you need quite a lot of, of this in here. I'm just going to give the moulds a little spray of mould release first because I find that when I do I, my mica powders and different powders actually stick to it a lot better and it makes it a lot easier for when painting on. I'm going to use a micro brush because I don't want to have it in too thick a line and then I'm just going to go in and and paint this in. Now this might be not a deep enough colour to come out but we'll see when we've done. So I'm just popping the red in. Mm, it's not really showing up very well and I'm going to try and get like an ombre effect as well so that's the red, orange. And I'll just carry on and do these and then I'll come back when I've finished painting them all in. So I've finished painting my colours in. What I found was the red really didn't show up at all so what I used was a tiny bit of mica powder over the top of the glow in the dark powder. Up. And to ensure that it has got some glow in the dark quality, I'm also going to use this virtual white to mix into the resin when I pour it in. So we can only see if it works, can't we? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and ring that little bell. I will link everything that I've used today in the description below. I've got my resin mixed up now and I'm just going to add this white glow in the dark powder and give that a good old stir through. I'd just like to say thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. If you'd like to become a member, then check out the link in the description. There's a lot of perks for being a member. Look at me. I've made a right mess. So this is, means I'm going to have to use a pipette. So I am using a pipette and popping it in and I'm making a lot less mess. If you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for all my experiments, then the link for that is in the description as well. I'm popping the bubbles using a long neck lighter and leaving to cure for 24 hours. So these have all cured now. It's going to be interesting to see whether the glow-in-the-dark powder works the same as mica powder when you paint it on a mould. Oh, and it does seem to. I did over-pour there a little bit, but we won't have to worry about that. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that, the way that's come out. And that one as well. I think they've come out really well. And the, really, the test is going to be if they glow in the dark. I'm going to quickly turn the lights off and we will see. And they definitely glow in the dark and it's not too dark in here today either because obviously it's daylight and I'm really pleased with the way that they glow in the dark. Yeah, they're glowing really well. Well, you can see the colours. I can see that there is a difference in the colours. So there we go. They're finished. They work really well. I think the colours have come out really well and they, they've come out great. Let me know what you think about these in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe and notification bell. Ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'll leave all the descriptions and the links to everything in the description below. Take care, enjoy your resin, bye!